Hello everybody, Random Sound 2 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a more advanced way of editing, um, editing using Microsoft Express Encoder 4, and it's very handy. So yeah, let's get into this. So here it is, um, pretty basic. There's uh, there's all this blank space and stuff. So here we go straight into this. At the bottom, there's a button that says import. Click on that, and you get to choose a video. I'm going to be choosing my EV video that I did last time. So there it is. Says one of my videos. Play that for a little bit. That's a bit laggy. Uh, um, so if I want, you probably saw this. I can right click. On the blue timeline bar, uh, add and then click on Add Visual Overlay, which is what uh, is what I'm hovering over now. Um, click on that, and I can choose a picture from my files, like this one, which was the thumbnail for my uh, what's it called? Just a custom thumbnail for my reacting to my first video. Um, so yeah. So that can just stay there, it can be pictures. So, yeah. Yeah, Evie. So there's all that, there's all that, there's all that and stuff. So, um, yeah. I can also add like an intro at the beginning. If I click on the, this one here. Yeah, so I can add an intro. Like uh, me and Harley's one. Uh, that's gonna be a bit of a decent one hopefully ah but this is still on there uh -huh. what's happening here okay so I recommend only having one visual overlay because it can get a bit Explosive and kind of mess everything up a little bit, but yeah. So if I go pause that video, uh, if I go remove clip, I can now remove this. <laughs> oh, I don't know, uh, but I can also do outros as well. If I go over here, there's an outro there. That's pretty cool. So if I go back over here, so once you've done everything you want to do to the video, uh, the bar on the side, the key things on the side, like over here, blah blah. Um, there's like an area here which I'm hovering over. That's like where this video is going to save when you try and save it. So you can click the three dots and choose where you want to save it. And go okay. Then what you got to do is go file encode, which can be control E, or you can just click encode at the bottom here. But yeah, so when that's done, uh, you go into like a uh, video, you go in your documents and try and find that video. I know where I saved mine, and there, there's where my one, my Eevee one, saves. So that one there. So yeah. So that's pretty cool. So there's all my stuff here. So yeah, guys. Um, hope this video was handy to you. Um, it's probably more helpful than the last video we did. But anywho. If you need, if you need to edit for free, I recommend using Expression Encoder 4, Microsoft, because Filmora, which I used to use, I used to use Filmora and Movie Maker, Movie Maker's a bit sucky, but Filmora here, that one you have to have like a special, even though it's the trial version I've got, you need to have a special email and everything to save the video or else it ends up looking like uh, a video and it says Filmora in the background the whole time and it's really annoying annoying so a bit like this one here
one of my original intros I was making for me and Harley. See, there's me and Ace Gaming. See, and I made that. It's not that good. But it says Filmora in the background and stuff. You probably couldn't see that very well anyway. But it's, it's a bit silly, really. So it's great editing software, but a bit hard to uh, save the actual video. So that's why I recommend using this right here. This is the best. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video, if you found it helpful give me a thumbs up and other things, uh, thank you for watching this video and as always, peace, bye.